boy does it feel good to finally get back on the winning side of things it was not pretty definitely was not pretty for part of the game but hey a win is a win they both snap a five game losing streak and i'll be honest i wasn't sure if the bulls were gonna fall in this one and make it a six game losing streak because the pistons team they were fighting and I don't know if you guys have been watching the Pistons recently, but they have been playing solid basketball as of late, despite what you see in their record having only won 18 games. Cade Cunningham has been balling. Jeremy Grant has been back and playing well. So I was worried, especially after the third quarter. I wasn't sure if the Bulls were going to come out on top of this one. But finally, finally, the Bulls had a strong fourth quarter where they stayed focused. They took care of the ball and hit their shots. And after DeRozan cooling off a bit recently, he was even a bit cold to start this game. DeMar took over in the fourth quarter, propelling the Bulls on that 17-2 run and closed out the game. Now, really for this game, this was all about the big three. And thank God Vucevic was back in the lineup for this one. And don't get me wrong, Io had a solid game as well. He did a great job at guarding Cade. But the Bulls' big three scored 82 of the Bulls' 114 points tonight. What I will say, though, and this wasn't the case for the whole game, but in that first quarter, the Bulls came out very active on the defensive end looking engaged staying with their man hustling for loose balls that was the kind of aggression and edge i want to see on the defensive end for the bulls that we really just haven't seen in recent games and really ever since we've missed lonzo and caruso but especially in this recent slump but then that activity just kind of fell by the wayside in the second and third quarter guys were missing their assignments not following guys cutting to the basket not reading screens that's been the thing that's been bothering me about this bulls team during the slump is not playing with the same level of aggression and urgency for the full 48 minutes you'll see it for portions of the game but not for the whole thing but either way the bulls big three stepped up in a big way on offense tonight although i do have some gripes with how the bulls offense looked tonight which i'll get into but DeRozan finished the game with 36 points on 12 for 25 shooting he had 16 points in the fourth quarter alone they don't call him the king of the fourth quarter for nothing right uh, not only that he also had eight rebounds and four assists and two steals but what i will say though and if you were following along in the live chat, you saw me say this. I have not been liking the Bulls' stagnant offense recently. And that starts with DeMar DeRozan. Yes, it's also on Levine as well. Both of them really do too many isolation plays with little to no ball movement that usually ends in a one-and-done possession. But I'm mainly looking at DeMar because he's generally the one bringing up the ball and setting plays for himself in the half court, which slows down the overall pace plays aren't being pushed in transition and you have guys just standing around watching DeRozan try to get his shot or get to his spot for a mid-range jumper it slows down the game and it takes away from the bull speed and athleticism for which they play with that makes them so effective like even when DeRozan is hitting those shots it's not enabling the Bulls to move effectively and having other guys get involved. I don't know. I just really don't like isolation heavy basketball in general. You guys know this about me. I've never been a fan of it. It's what drove me nuts about the Jim Boylan era. Uh, Zach Levine, somewhat similar in regards to his heavy isolation plays, but I didn't find it as noticeable as DeRozan. But either way, Levine was another big scorer tonight, putting in 25 points on seven for 14 shooting. He was very cold from three though, going one for seven. The guy just has not been able to find his stroke from deep since the All-Star break. Uh, what I did like seeing from Levine tonight was his aggression in getting to the line, really from both Levine and DeMar in general. Uh, after having those massive free throw disparities that we've seen recently, tonight they had 35 free throw attempts compared to the Pistons' 17. And then finally, Vucevic, good having him back in the lineup after being out against the Sixers. He finished the game with 21 points on 8 for 11 shooting, only 6 rebounds tonight, which was surprising given that Isaiah Stewart wasn't in the lineup for the Pistons. Uh, rebounding in this game was weird, though. Like, the Bulls only had 33 rebounds and yet somehow still out-rebounded the Pistons, who only had 32, which normally when you see that kind of rebounding rate for both teams, you assume both teams were hot from the floor, but... Uh, the Bulls shot 52%, which is good, but nothing insane. And the Pistons shot 51%. Uh, where the Bulls really struggled tonight was with their three-point shooting. It seemed like nothing was going down from deep. They shot three for 15 from behind the arc. Yikes. But anyway, a solid game from Vucevic. He was being aggressive and taking advantage of the mismatches down low with Isaiah Stewart being out, which was good to see. And then finally, Io, you know, I did want to touch on him because although it won't seem like it in the stat sheet, given the fact that Cade Cunningham still had 22 points and 9 for 15 shooting, Io was locked in on Cade tonight. And he did his job at limiting his passing and his scoring and forced a lot of turnovers. Cunningham had six turnovers in this one. Io also had 9.7 assists and three steals. Again, the poise, the confidence for which this kid plays always impresses me. Dude just always seems to make the right play. He also had a team high of plus 14 tonight. But outside of that, I mean, the guys coming off the bench were a little quiet. 
Kobe hit some big shots. Thompson came in for nice minutes off the bench to give Vooch a breather. And Derek Jones Jr. looked good tonight. I uh, was being very active on the wing on defense. Uh, also, the Bulls had 13 steals tonight. I feel like that's got to be close to a season high for them. Again, you guys were being very active on defense. Not for the whole game, but still. Anyway, what I was saying about the ball movement or lack thereof, uh, pretty shocked that the Bulls won this one with only 19 assists in total as a team. And it definitely seemed like they had less than that if you were watching the game. I have to say, I was surprised they finished the game with 19 assists with how much they were relying on DeRozan and Levine. I really need to see Billy Donovan harping on these guys to get other players involved and keeping the ball and player movement going that we saw earlier on in the season that made this team so successful. Obviously, some of that is due to the fact that Lonzo and Crusoe are out, who are good facilitators and passers in transition, but still 19 assists as a team against the Pistons. That's unacceptable and that's on coaching to fix because you could have lost this game and a lot of that was because of iso heavy one and done possessions that enabled the pistons to score on the other end anyway the bulls get their 40th win on the season which is the first time they have won 40 games since the 2016-17 season with the alpha three they actually finished the season at 500 if i'm not mistaken uh, the bulls remain in the fourth spot in the east one game back behind the sixers for the third seed the bulls are off until saturday in which they'll be taking on the Cavs, which will be a big game for the bulls to maintain that separation from the Cavs and the celtics who are right below them i'll have a video out tomorrow so be on the lookout for that as always guys be sure to subscribe if you're a bulls fan as i do post daily bulls content thanks again for tuning in guys and i will catch you in the next one